A home with history and a location with loveliness, what's not to like? But all may not be roses round the door if you're buying a house in one of the UK's most notable settings, because it's likely to be a conservation area. A conservation area could be town or country, landscape or street that the local council has decided has special architectural or historic interest. It's a way of protecting and preserving all the features that make the area special and unique. How do you know whether a property you're interested in falls into a conservation area? Well, you can check with the local authority or, better still, grab one of our property reports. This is a deep dive into any individual home in the UK. A full report contains information on everything from whether a property does fall into a conservation area to the price it last sold for, what planning permission has been granted in the neighbourhood and even how good the local schools are. There's a link below to get yours just by entering a postcode. House buyers in a conservation area are often restricted in what they can do to their own home. For instance, you might have to apply for planning permission if you want to do anything to the outside of your property, like replacing doors, windows, even guttering. Even unlisted buildings in a conservation area count towards its uniqueness. And so councils may prevent you demolishing your home if you want to rebuild, for instance. You'll also be banned from cutting down trees without authority. Now, this usually means applying six weeks in advance, so the local authority can decide how much of a contribution that tree makes to the area, and if necessary, they'll create a tree prevention order to stop it being felled. Protected species and habitats might have to be considered if you are planning building works and even minor things like putting up a satellite dish might need the sign off before you go ahead. If you think the decision is unreasonable, you can appeal. And a local architect who has experience with the local planning authority can be a great ally here. Even better, get the architect on board before you apply for permission because they'll know what's likely to be approved or rejected. And did you know that you can even get into trouble for not looking after your property properly in a conservation area? If you're really neglectful, you could end up with an urgent works notice compelling you to maintain your property. The council will generally prefer repairs in a conservation area rather than replacements and either often need to be done using original designs, methods and materials. Is it worth paying this kind of price to live somewhere special? Only you can decide, but now you know what's involved, at least you won't get any nasty surprises. Join me next time for more expert advice and make sure you hit that alert button to stay up to date with all things property related.